Welcome back to Corey's Corner. This is another um, Ruby Fundamentals tutorial, and we're going to be going over um, extend versus include um, with modules. So I just wanted to, I probably made a video on this before, but um, this was something I was confused on for a long time, and it's very important for um, building objects in Ruby and making the most out of modules and mixins. So um, extend and include are both keywords that we use um, to uh, use modules inside our classes, but they both do different things. And uh, I found that the best way to learn something is just by trying. So um, my advice for any new programmer out there would be to just, if you're confused on what something does, just try it out. The worst thing that happens is that you get a stack trace error. But anyway, we're going to create a module. It's going to be called foo, and we're just going to define a foo method in here that just prints the foo message and now we can create a class which we will title bar um, and then we're going to include the foo module here we're going to create an instance of our class and then we will call the foo method there so we can clear this and we see that the foo method works. So what the include keyword does is it makes the methods defined in a module available to us as instance methods of a class. So an instance method is just a method within a class that is available once a class is initialized or once a class is created rather. If we were to try something like this, b.foo, we would get a class error. So what we're doing here is we're not creating an instance of a class. Um, this is just, we're trying to call foo as if it were a class method, but we can do this with the extend keyword. So a class method, foo is now a class method inside of our bar class. A class method is a, you know, it is a, um, a method that is available um, within the class, uh, within all of the classes, with but it's not available in the instances of a class. So typically we would use something like um, extend if we were to use the private methods in our class or if we wanted to create a bunch of methods that would not be available to instances of our class. We can also do extend and include at the same time. Now our foo, oops, Now our foo module has the our bar our bar class has the uh, methods defined in the foo module as both class and instance variables. So to sum it all up, let's just write this down for you. Extend adds class methods. Class methods are available across across the class before initialization. Include is used to add instance methods, which are only available when a class is initialized. So if you're using uh, a class as a, you know, an abstract class or a class that is never initialized, you would want to use extend. Um, if you want to create a module that is specifically for, um, you know, an initialized object, you would use include, and you can use them at the same time. So that's all I have for this video. It's pretty quick, basic Ruby video, but I just wanted to make it because I figured that um, I was confused about it for a very long time, and I'm going to come out with some more modular based videos. Um, but thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, uh, check out the Corey's Corner podcast and my blog post. It really helps me out. Thank you.